welcome welcome back to just be tarot posting a lot of videos the past few days I'm just having a itch and a feel to post some videos do some readings um, so today I'm gonna be doing a video that's titled channeling your inner goddess so we're gonna get find out what goddess um, you are and what your goddess or higher self recommends that you surrender for a happier, more peaceful life for you at this time. So it's going to be three, uh, three different piles of cards. <laughs> Excuse me, three different energies. So whatever you're most drawn to, whichever number you're most drawn to, you can. Pick that number, and then we'll read you your message from your inner goddess. The power of surrender cards. The power of surrender. And love your inner goddess cards. Beautiful cards. So here we go. Number. So, angels, hi, I'm doing another reading. Hope you don't mind. Please bless these decks, my beautiful angels. Please bless these decks and have all the divine light guides. Wisdom answers truth and advice comes from our universe of the past and the world is concerned. Please remove any negative or heavy energies trapped within the decks. Blast it away, but do with it what you may. All right, so let's go on to number one. The viewers who choose pile number one. Let's channel your inner goddess. For those who choose number one angels. Got it. And what does pile one need to surrender? What does their inner goddess recommend they surrender? Themselves run for a happier, peaceful life. This came out fast. Okay. So let's go to pile one, number one, Elk Medicine Woman. Oh, that's a pretty card. Elk Medicine Woman. Surrender your attachment to results. Okay, viewers, that's what the angels want to tell you right now. To have a more happy, peaceful life at this time, surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and let go of the results. So focus on making things happen, making changes in your life, moving forward, and not thinking so much about the results or end result. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Because maybe the outcome is going to be something that you it's going to be a surprise, something that you don't expect. And if you hold on too tightly to one particular desired outcome, you might miss out on the best, most desirable outcome in the end. So let's read your message. 6, 7, 8, 9. So they got a 9 here. That 36 makes a 9. So almost at completion. Okay, let's read your little message from this book right here. About the elk medicine woman. Okay, uh, there are certain things that are meant to happen at particular times. This is the working of destiny. No matter how much pressure there is from the outside world or from your own expectations, there is an order of events and divine timing in place so that what is meant to be shall be. Balance your active pursuit of your dreams and ambitions with patience and trust in the right timing of things. You are given a message that you are capable of great accomplishment this lifetime. Rather than fighting against life, trust that it is working with you and for you. Do what it do what is in your power to do, but pace yourself with trust and surrender too. Okay, so have trust. Have trust in your angels, your passed away loved ones. Um, have trust that they're helping to guide you. They want you to be patient and take your time. Um, just go with the flow. Elk Medicine Woman comes with guidance to heal your soul. 
So that's your inner goddess. Wants to help you heal your soul. Steady does it, wild one. Maintain the pace that matches your inner rhythms. Do not feel rushed by urgency or external demands. You cannot force life to flow. The heart is at peace with this because it knows that perfect timing is divine timing. You have the endurance to go far, to attain great things in this life. You must conserve your energy to maintain your stamina. If you push yourself to exhaustion, you just make the way harder for yourself. Nor does it speed up your results. Forcing forcing creates resistance, with just, which just slows everything down. Elk Medicine Woman understands that you have great courage, which will take you to places that others may not dare to go. With your inner wisdom and self-confidence, there is so much that you shall achieve and receive. She whispers in your heart, affirming that your accomplishments shall be impre impressive. She guides you to work hard, but also to enjoy your life and allow others to support you. When divine timing is just right, you will hit your stride. You will attain all that you, all for which you have aimed and more. A sacred ritual that your inner goddess recommends for you. Place the backs of your hands on top of your head with your fingers extending upwards in a slightly curved shape. These are your symbolic soul antlers. <laughs> they draw in divine transmissions of guidance, blessing, energy, and instruction. Imagine, visualize, feel, or pretend that you can suction all of that spiritual goddess into your soul antlers, then move your hands down to relax on your heart. Oh, that's a nice little recommendation from your inner goddess, your inner elk medicine woman. Put your hands on your head outwards and make these shapes of antlers <laughs> and feel for and ask for some guidance um, visualize what you want pretend it entering those antlers and then once you've done that touch your heart and all the energy will move to your heart so that's a nice little message for you pile one my little elk medicine woman <laughs> So angels, for those viewers who choose pile two, be the inner goddess at this time. And message from your inner goddess for a more peaceful and happy life. For those who choose pile two. I wish this darn cold would go away. It's just dragging on. And then what does their inner goddess recommend to surrender for a more peaceful and happy life at this time? I just want one card. It's just one card. I want to choose pile two. Their inner goddess recommends to surrender at this time. Pile number two, on your own terms, on your own terms. She waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself. It was a very good day. What your inner goddess recommends you surrender, surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So perhaps, um, pile two of Bible viewers, um, maybe you're, you've been focusing too much on someone else saving you or someone else um, providing you comfort or someone else providing you support. Your inner goddess wants you to do all these things for yourself, okay? They want you to be able to find a way that you can encourage yourself, motivate yourself, and um, just be yourself and surrender worry. 
Okay. If you start to worry, your, your inner goddess wants you to take a deep breath in and let out the worry. Okay, just imagine, visualize you breathing in fresh air and then you exhaling your worries. Anything that gives you a little bit of anxiety. And, and your inner goddess wants to tell you this is going to be the best thing for you. It, if you're imagining like the best partner, the best person or relationship to find, your inner goddess wants to tell you it's going to be you. Okay, All those things you want in another person, you can find them within yourself. You have to know this. Okay, Let's read your little message from this card. <clears throat> you are not the person you once were. You know it, but others might not always be ready to let the old you go so easily. Do not allow yourself to be shoved back into patterns of behavior that are not true to who you are right now. You have worked hard to grow and become this new self. Believe that she is more real than the old you even if she is less familiar to others, and maybe even to you at this stage. All that will change, and what is new now, will become familiar and easy for you to sustain in the near future. Be stubborn in a good way, whilst you and others around you come to realize that the new you is the real you. So don't hide yourself. Don't hide yourself. Express yourself. Go after what it is you want. You can do it. Bring your confidence up and surrender your worries, your inner goddess wants to tell you. Spiritual guidance. Other may others may offer their input, but when it comes down to it, it is you alone making your life decisions. You alone making your, your life decisions. Your choice may once have been to meet the expectations and honor the opinions of other people, but you are aware now that the best choices for you actually honor your own heart. Irrespective of whether others understand your reasons or feelings, you might have to practice not feeling guilty or selfish about choosing to live your life in the way that suits your soul. You might have to be patient with those around you, and you you who need some time to get out of the habit of expecting you to do as you are told. It may take some time for them to adjust to the way you are now, behaving and thinking based on your own inner guidance. Stand your ground and reinforce this new behavior until you and those around you really get that this is how you are living from now on. You know now, you now know that you don't have to wait for permission. You get to choose how you want to feel, how you want to live, and who you want to be. You're ready for the responsibility and sweet reward of living your life on your own terms. Okay, that's what your inner goddess wants to tell you. And I feel chills all over my body right now. This is a beautiful message for you, those who choose Pile 2. What's your little inner goddess, this little chica here? What she recommends you do, a sacred ritual. She's going to re recommend trusting in your own empowerment can take some practice and self-encouragement. Write a list of five things that you do already that are powerful. It might be refusing to have your thoughts controlled by another or exercising your body, walking away from that's what that's not right, or choosing to give yourself time out when you need it. As you write your list, remind yourself that you already have begun your journey of empowerment. You continue to be bolder in how you choose to express your empowerment when it feels right for you. So what were the examples again? The examples were refusing to have your thoughts controlled by someone else. <laughs> Exercising your body by walking away from something that's not right. Move away. Choose to give yourself a time out when you need it. If you feel a little flustered or anxiety ridden, just take some time to yourself. Your inner goddess wants to tell you that. Just sit alone in a corner, just like this <laughs> image. You're so cute. Okay, and um, yeah, so just doing those things, deciding these things for yourself is starting your journey. You're a strong, powerful person. And uh, surrender your worries. Don't you worry, little viewer. Okay, you, you can do it. You can do everything you want to do by yourself. In your own company. Okay? So that's your message for those who choose Pile 2. That's really nice. Oh my gosh. Oh. <sighs> 
At least I can't transfer it to you, eh? It's not contagious through the phone. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want this cold. That sucks. Okay, a little, little distracted there. Oh, for pile three, your, your card came up right away. Just peeked out while I was holding those cards. Surrender card for those who choose pile three angels with their inner goddess recommends they release or surrender for a more happy, peaceful life at this time. Ooh, the good witch. <laughs> You're a good witch, pile three. You're not a bad witch. You have a good heart. You have a big heart. You always have good intentions. You don't want to hurt people. We still look at this. We have this magic. The word magic on your card. Your inner goddess wants to deliver that. Deliver that message to you. You're a magic. You're a good witch. And what you need to surrender. Surrender stubbornness, pile three. Are you a little bit stubborn? Is that possible? If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Okay? So if something, something gets your little witchy vibes going, makes you uncomfortable, your inner goddess wants you to stop talking and just observe. If it's a conversation you're having with a particular person that ruffles your feathers or rubs you the wrong way or gets your little witchy vibes going, little little dark side of your witchy vibes, your, your inner good witch goddess wants to tell you to just zip it <laughs> and just listen and observe the person. This might even make them feel uncomfortable, but that's only because it's making them more aware of what they're actually saying to you and, and, and hopefully realizing that it's not something good necessarily, right? If you're getting bad vibes, it's just going to make them feel uncomfortable. And don't feel bad about that, my little viewers, because they're the ones that are making you uncomfortable, making the situation or conversation uncomfortable, okay? So just just watch them be still, just like this inner goddess of yours. She's just like, her eyes are half open. Okay? Alright. Whatever you say. But, don't be like me and say those things. I wouldn't say that either, but anyway. Your, your goddess wants you to be silent and still. Let's read a more detailed message from your inner goddess right here, right now. Um, here it is, the good witch. It's time to use your words. Okay, speak up for what you want. So, um, this is something totally different. I'm just talking about a particular situation that might come up with a person that's rubbing you the wrong way. Um, but in all other aspects, when you, when you need to speak up, uh, it's time to use your words. If something... If someone is saying negative things about you or you are thinking negative thoughts about yourself or anyone else, don't believe them and don't sink to the level of lashing out. Okay, so that's it. Just taking your time, watching and observing. Or speak. Instead, speak the goodness of beautiful truth that you want to affirm right now. Use the positive power of your words, thoughts, and intentions. So I think more so for you, those who choose pile three, it's going to be using your thoughts and intentions if you're in any, in any uncomfortable situation, okay? And, you know, if you're, if you're a little anxieties, or aggressions, you can have them under control, and, and you can speak calmly, like you don't get, your heart rate doesn't get up, you know, your heart rate's low and steady, then speak, okay, that's something in particular your inner goddess wants me to tell you, okay, when you're all worked up in a tizzy physically, that's not the time to speak, but if you're calm and, and confident, and uh, then do it, okay, 
use the positive power of your um, use the positive power of your words, thoughts, and intentions to override and replace the meanness, fear, hate, or jealousy of anyone else. The goodness in you is more powerful than the badness in anyone or anything else. Wow. Excuse me, viewers. I have to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Spiritual guidance. You can create your own magic. You can create your own magic. You have a special gift for weaving loving spells of healing. With clear intention, channeling your emotional energy, and using your words, you can create joy and happiness in your life that touches the hearts of those around you. So just deep thoughts and deep wishes of goodness, peace, and contentment for those around you. Really focus on that. Your inner goddess wants to tell you that doing that, like really feeling those good intentions for others around you will definitely bring them good in their lives. You have that power because you're the good witch. You are a good witch. And when you use your inner power to increase love in the world, your power will continue to increase. So the more of your love you can spread to others around you, the stronger you'll be become. Your, your little inner witch wants to tell you that. As we grow in power, we sometimes forget to use it wisely. So use it wisely, your inner goddess says. We may use our power to speak ill of another, to persuade others into negative thinking through gossip, or to allow our own insecurities to make us behave disrespectfully to ourselves or someone else. So remember, stop, observe, listen, watch. And when your heart beats slow and steady, and when you have the best intentions, that's when you're going to speak up and... Uh, if you need to. Misuse of power doesn't feel good for anyone or anyone else. The universe cannot uplift us into all that we dream of experiencing if we are using our, if we are using our power to pull ourselves and others down. It is better and more fun to use your power for loving and positive purpose as, you're, as you honor freedom of choice for others and yourself. The good witch is a wise witch. She creates beautiful energy which others can benefit from if they so choose. Forgive yourself if you've lost your way if you forgot your true inner power or tried to make someone else's decisions for them okay so your inner goddess wants to, you to forgive yourself accept it and move forward you've learned you've grown you've changed and your inner good witch wants to give you a high five okay and um let that go and come back to your heart with peace and happiness. It's time to weave your loving magic into the world. That's a beautiful message. What does your inner goddess, your little inner good witch, recommend for you to do as a spiritual or sacred practice or ritual? Say aloud one thing or situation that you would like to create. Place your hands on your heart as you relax, imagine, feel, pretend, or visualize that you are gently sending so much love, happiness, and peace towards your desired desired creation. Then relax and let go. So tell yourself, get yourself alone, and say out loud one thing or, or one situation that you would like to create, okay? After you've done this, you're gonna place your hands on your heart and relax, imagine, feel, and pretend, and visualize it coming true as your hands are held upon your heart, okay? And on all your 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 good thoughts, wishes, and visualizations will stream into your heart as well. And, um, and that's gonna help in, um, manifesting what it is that you desire. So that's your message for Pile 3. That's fun. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this little reading, my viewers. And um, post another video soon. Just remember, always make suggestions. Oh, and also, too, if I could ask a favor for you viewers watching, if you do like my video, to give me a like. <laughs> That's just a favor. You don't have to, obviously. I'm still going to make the videos regardless. But if you want to do a little something to help me make help make me feel good is to give me a like if if you liked the video. Um cuz it just it makes me want to do more and more. The more likes I see, it just kind of gives me a little bit of acknowledgement like in the previous readings uh reading I did.
feels good to get a little, hey, great, great job. Um, so, yeah, if you could remember to do that, that would make me feel great. Uh, but if not, don't worry about it. <laughs> you have your own reasons. Um, but, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll post another video soon. Bye!